Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Motorola Moto E40 smartphone and in this video I'm going to show the top 3 widgets for this device. So first of all, in order for you to get to the widget menu, tap and hold at any of the vacant spots you have on your home screen. Go for the widgets and here you'll have all the widgets that are currently available to you, divided into convenient categories. So the first widget that I would highly recommend on getting is the one of two possible calendar designs. So the full scale one will, con will, will contain the full months overview, whilst the compact version of it will only provide you with one day at a time, or should I say one week at a time actually. So th what this widget is really good for is once you add any anything important to it, like let's say events, reminders, holidays, celebrations, whatever basically, it will display them over here. Therefore, each time you unlock your phone, you will uh, find yourself looking at it and so that making sure that you will not forget about anything important, as, as I've said at the start of the sentence. Alrighty, moving on to the next very important, useful and handy widget located at the Google category and called Google search bar. That's a very popular one, almost everybody gotta have it, so you are able at any given time to access the search engine by Google search engine by simply tapping on this widget, a very convenient thing to have. And the search widget is located at the Moto widget category. There are three uh, exclusive widgets that are exclusive to Motorola. So those three widgets are, all of them are clocks. So just choose the design that you'd like to go with, beyond classic or clean. I'll go with the classic one and drop it right here, for example. It can also show time for multiple cities, I guess. So let's enter the clock section and let this widget show LA time as well, for example. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've clicked on the wrong part of it. Of course, it it has the add city, uh, add city sign in order for you to, well, be able to see the current weather data. So we have granted this widget the uh, location access. Therefore, we need to, to allow the to choose to allow all the time option. And from here, I guess it should start showing the weather once we enable the current location trigger. It determines our precise location and shows the brief weather summary like the state of the sky whether it's clear or not as well as the current uh, air temperature already so that would be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and bye bye